Let's talk about the Castelvi classification of lumbosacral transitional vertebra. And in this classification, typically we're talking about sacralization of L5 because when we have a transitional segment at L5, about 80% of the time that will be the L5 segment becoming more sacral in morphology and then the remainder of the cases will be the sacrum becoming more lumbar type in morphology. So uh, more often than not, we're talking about sacralization, but nonetheless, when we have a transitional vertebra, it can happen in a, you know, varying degrees of segmentation. And so when we're talking about type one, that's when we're dealing with an enlarged transverse process or hyperplastic transverse processes, which was initially described when the um, superior diameter here was more than 19 millimeters uh, in height. So that uh, is an absolute measurement, you know, just eyeballing this generally, if I'm talking about this with someone, I'll say, you know, is it taller than it is long? If it's taller than it is long, then that's the spatulated type of morphology, and we can call that a type one. No one really reports this or dictates it because it has no clinical significance. It only really matters at all if it changes the mechanics uh, at the lumbosacral junction, which this uh, doesn't do. And so type two does, because type two is when this is even larger here, and then it comes down and it's actually articulating with the sacrum. And so if I uh, just bring this down here, and then usually this will have a facet uh, ground into the sacrum here, and it'll make a joint, okay? So it's a pseudoarthrosis uh, because we kind of have this joint being formed here. And I'm just trying to just draw this here quickly for you. Uh, you know, I could draw it a little bit better. But um, so these are going to be grinding on each other potentially. And just with type, like with type 1, which I forgot to mention, is we call it type a or type B, depending on if it's unilateral or bilateral. So uh, I'm going to be drawing type A's here because I'm just drawing it on, on the one side. So this would be considered a Castelvi type 2A in that classification system because it's unilateral and it has a pseudo articulation with a sacrum, so that's a type 2. And uh, when there's this lack of symmetry, it alters the motion such that potentially it can cause pain because of the uh, pressure occurring unilaterally. If it's symmetric, that's more stable and that doesn't typically cause symptoms. Uh, and so when we have a Castelvi type 2A, those are the people that we're potentially concerned that they have what we call Bertolotti syndrome if they're suffering some pain there. So let me just uh, draw um, a little bit of, oops, I need to change my brush here. All right, so if we're going to be getting some swelling at the junction between that transverse process and the sacrum here, some edema within the bone, you know, that's when, you know, people are going to be symptomatic, and that's when we would call that Bertolotti syndrome. And there's a number of different treatments um, that we're not going to cover here, uh, which can help address that type of situation. Okay, and so, um, so that would be uh, Bertolotti syndrome, which is a consequence of type 2. And now type three is when this is actually fused and it's fully uh, sacral in function uh, because you have bony continuity between the transverse elements here. And usually, you know, I should mention when you have these transitional segments, the disc is typically going to be hypoplastic. So for type three here, what I'm going to do is let me just get rid of all of this redness here. I'll step back a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the L5 segment down here. So let me get my gizmo and I'm just going to bring this down a little bit. Okay, and now you can see that there's some continuity. So, and usually this will be, um, you know, much more um, bulky uh, when we have this. So I'm just going to add a, a little bit of mass after I fuse these here. So let me come down here and fuse this. All right, so now I've merged these together. Okay, so let's smooth these out. And, uh, you know, this is going to be just total bony continuity. And so uh, these are usually going to be a bit more bulky. So let me just add a little bit of mass here. Um, and this is going to be much more continuous. So let me just smooth this out a little bit. Okay. And so this is going to be much more uh, typical of what you'd expect to see, kind of a sacral aolotype morphology. And I guess I'm not going to get this to look quite right here. With It's going to take me a little while to, uh, to draw this in uh, and make it look right. But um, let me just bring this up here. Okay. And so the top of this is going to look more like a traditional, you know, sacral aola. Uh, and potentially even with a little bit of SI joint component to it. All right, so that's looking that's looking a bit a bit better. Okay, so that would be a type three A. Um, you know, maybe not the best drawing. <laughs> I'd have to spend you know half an hour to get that to look right. But um, we've got the hypoplastic disc. We have a bony continuity uh, unilaterally here. So this would be a type three A. Um, when it's type three B, you know, it's essentially just a normal sacrum, just that sacrum happens, happens to have an extra segment. And then often you'll only have four lumbar type uh, non-rib bearing segment. 
All right, and then last is type four, where you have the fused component on one side, but you have the pseudo articulation component on the other side. And this pseudo articulation isn't moving at all. So it's not really gonna be problematic because you're not grinding uh, the bones against one another because you're fused on this side. So this, these two segments cannot move relative to one another. And um, I didn't even you know draw this that close together, but um, that would be a, a type four. Uh, which is just essentially a modification of a type 3. Thanks for watching and make sure you hit subscribe and help me grow my channel. Thanks.